All right, I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. I also had someone knock on my door for a delivery, which means I have no more deliveries this week. Great. <laughs> no, I'm, I, I said that sarcastically, but I'm actually happy. That means I don't have to go outside. <laughs> now, I do have to get through this place. Um, I don't know where I need to go, though. I guess over there? I can't see any other places I need to go. Hmm. Do they hear me if I'm out from here? No, they don't. Okay, they see me. Oh, oh god, oh god, oh god. Run, 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 run. Okay, b b okay, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Okay, that was not the correct way to do that. So much for Swellscape. By the way, also if I sing Cranky, it's because I have this terrible sore in my mouth. You know the ones. And it's been bothering me. Okay. Whoops. Yeah, big F for me. Yep, do you, I don't know if this happens to anyone else, but you know like when it's like so bad and like so close to your gums that like your gums also get like sore? And so it's just like your whole mouth is unhappy. <laughs> oh god! Oh god, they came from both sides. They came from both sides. Oh god. Run, 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 run. Oh, oh my god, how did I make it? Nope, I, did, I, I still have more things. <laughs> oh god. Run, run, run and jump, run and jump, run and jump. <sighs> oh, oh my god. Absinol works the best. I have like um a, a numbing thing that I usually used. Um and I just dump I put a lot of it in my mouth. <laughs> um now it also it feels like exactly like the numbing cream that or the numbing that you get at the dentist and my mouth feels like really weird now i have to be careful not to use too much because even though like it helps it like it's really effective hmm i need to hack that somehow Can I get them, like, away? Maybe I can get them into the barrel. No? No, I don't think that worked. Um, let me try something else. Can I go over here? Oh yeah, I can. Close the door, close the door. That was the wrong way. Um, what do I need to do? Do I need to bring this over? 
Meow. Meow. Hello, Fakazoo. Oh yeah, okay. I needed to bring it over. Oof. How are you doing? You know, hell jellies sound cute. <laughs> I mean, if you were to say that without me knowing what they look like, I'd be like, yeah, that is kind of cute sounding. Okay. Whew. Made it. Is there any other of those little hellions around? Oh, what's this? Jump. I see you've started the cat game. Doing good. Chill Monday as usual. Yes. After a lot of a uh, hardship, I managed to start this game. Get off me! Get off me! Get off me! Get off me! Oh god! Get off! Get off! Get off. I have to like run them around. I I'm glad you're having a chill Monday, Fogazoo, because uh, <laughs> this game got very unchill all of a sudden. Okay, uh, let's try this again. So I need to like make sure to stay safe until the elevator fully drops down. Okay, okay, okay. I can jump. I can jump. This starts this cute cat game and becomes running from Hell Jelly Simulator. Look at all these headcrabs. Oh my god. Oh my god, my heart. My heart is pounding. Oh. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. You know, I just wanted to be a cat. I just wanted to be a cute cat. No one told me that there would be alien jellies in this game. No one told me that. This game was always ha- this is Half-Life with Cat. <laughs> Here it is, put the transceiver on the antenna. Yeah, you say that like it's easy. life. <laughs> yes, exactly. Look, the view. It's beautiful from here. I remember now. The city. It was meant to be a shelter. Those look like stars, but they're only lights marking the hermetic roof sealing off the city. Humankind built this shell to protect themselves from the outside, but it came at a cost. Nobody can go out. The outside was a disaster. 
completely barren, unlivable, and dangerous. But if you come from there, it must mean it's safe again. And my promise wasn't just to go to the outside, it was to open the city. Yeah, but what about all the head crabs? I still don't understand why some memories are coming back and others aren't. But I'm certain now this is my purpose. I have to open the city. Come on, let's go back and find Momo. Now that we connected the transmitter, we should be able to get help. Wouldn't we just be unleashing the head crabs into the outside? shortcut right into here. Look, a note. Little outsider, if you're reading this, that means you're still alive. Excellent. It took some equipment- I took some equipment to the bar to take advantage of their antenna. Come meet me there. I've locked the window, but the code to open it is quite simple. It is... Uh-huh. Admin, admin. Be careful, it is case sensitive. See you at the bar. For the window near the entrance? This code? Here's the lock for the window. The code was... It was an H, I think. No, there... <laughs> Whoops, my bad. Okay, let's try that again. Mm. Let's see. It worked! Momo's at the bar waiting for us. Maybe the head crabs are weak to sunlight. I can hope. I can hope that sunlight kills them. I guess we'll just have to see once we open. Oh, yeah. That's Zoe. There was someone on the stairs looking for sheet music. Let me see if I can find them. Didn't really say which stairs, though. Remember. Rip humans. Rip humans heart. Humans were the first residents around here. It seems that they're all dead now. What do you think it feels like being dead? I know it's silly coming from me, but are they actually at peace? Will I be at peace when I die? I don't know what death feels like for an AI. I'm sorry, I didn't want to break the mood. Let's move on. My bad. Take energy drink. Cool. Sorry about sneezing in your ears, guys. My allergies are coming back. Oh, this must be where I came in from. Yeah. Let's go this way. Who are you? So if today is yesterday's tomorrow, tomorrow will be yesterday today, right? Time is weird. We don't age like our soft one ancestors. We are trapped here forever. Announcement. Looking for someone capable of monitoring the southern entrance to the safe zone. The remuneration is two pints of Siwiop oil per day. Please contact the Guardian. Yeah. 
Founder Man, Super Spirit Laundry, Grandma Clothing, and Elliot Programming. The elevator. Oh, he lives near the elevator, not the stairs. That's this way. Is it you? Hello, I'm a musician, but I don't have any songs. I have some. Pull down. I think I can play this. Look. I'm gonna listen. You, I kind of ever just got saved by a stray cat? No, but I don't really live near a lot of stray cats. The ones around me don't really save me. They just set off my dog and then I have to save them. Safe's mysterious password. What's this say? It's written, follows the numbers, but it looks like binary language, a succession of zeros and ones. We must be able to decipher this code in one way or another. It is probably related to the safe. Hmm. Source is condemned because of the proliferation of Zerks. Stay safe, stay in the safe zone. When we lived in Florida in the RV park, we lived there with 15 stray cats. Seriously. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of cats. <laughs> I'm allergic to cats, so that would definitely not help me with my allergies. I can handle like one or two cats for a small period of time, but if it's a lot of cats for uh, any amount of time, that's a, that's a disaster for me. Hello, I'm the merchant of the market. You give me something, I'll give you something in exchange. It's as simple as that. This is an ancient relic, a testament to the talents of our ancestors. It will cost you three energy drink cans. I can't do less. I only have one. Hmm. This is a set of electric cable, the best of the market. I'll exchange this for a super spirit detergent. That's the best I can do. Here you go. This is a music sheet, a masterful piece of art by a, of a very renowned artist. It will cost you one energy drink can. I can't do less. Okay. Here you go. More sheet music. What are you doing? We're fortunate to have these items to help us defend against the Zergs. The slums has its threats and preparation is key. Your friend has like 10? Oh my goodness. Look at all the hidden gems in this trash. Pennies from heaven, or from somewhere anyway. Okay. 
Well, anyway. What was I supposed to do again? <laughs> Let's find Momo. He seems excited. Let's see what's going on. Oh yeah, at the bar. That's where I was going. I got distracted. Yeah, they're called Zergs. Hey, little furball. Come here. I managed to get a signal. To be fair, jellies sound funnier. Oh, do I get a seat? Thank you. Let me see if I can get this thing working. Hello? I've almost got it. Hello, can anyone hear me? Hello, yes, we can hear you. We are from the slums. We're looking for a way out and... Wait, is that you, Sibaltazar? Momo? Shh. I, I can't believe it. I'm so happy to hear your voice, Sibaltazar. Where are you? Are the others okay? Yes. Shh. We are safe. Psh. We found a way up. Psh. Hello? Do you still hear me? You have to go through the sewers to reach us. Psh. Very dangerous. Psh. Zerks everywhere. Sewers? How? Hello? Darn it, we've lost the signal. I can't believe it. Zabaltasar is alive. He and the other ma outsiders managed to go up through the sewers? The sewers are the- whoops, sorry, that was my cup. The sewers are the most dangerous place in the slums, but if Zabaltazar made it, there must be a way. Hmm. What? You're looking at me funny. Oh, him? You'll never get past the sewers. It's infested with zerks. They'll make a quick meal out of you, especially you, little one. Many tried their luck in the past. It doesn't end well. Anyway, I warned you, your business is none of my business. Bye, I guess. Seamus. His father, Doc, used to be a great scientist. He was working on some new weapon to fight the Zerks. A few years ago, he went off to test a device and never came back. Seamus has never been the same since. Don't listen to Seamus. He's just scared like I was. If Doc built a weapon, that's our ticket to join the Outsiders. In his notebook, Doc mentioned a secret lab a few times. That must be what he was work where he was working on it. There might be a clue in Seamus' apartment. Come on, follow me. Yeah, they're, they're everywhere, man. I'm following. Don't worry, I'm right here. Don't step on me. That guy's really trying to clean up. I hate them too. Oh, that's Seamus. Goodbye, Seamus. Oh, okay. Come on, Seamus. Open the door. You know your father would have wanted to help us. Well, that was to be expected. This situation is pretty tough on Seamus. He doesn't want to hear about the outsiders anymore. He won't help me, but you... I think I have an idea. What, are you gonna chuck me through the window? Here, take Doc's notebook and show it to Seamus. It contains a lot of information that will hopefully act as an electroshock. Find a secret lab, little outsider. I'm going back to the bar to try to reestablish communication with the others. 
All right. Hello? Oh, hello. Sorry. I didn't mean to shock you twice. What are you doing in here? I told you, getting through the sewers is a suicide mission. Let me be. How about if I show you this? What's this? Wait, is this my pawpaws? Oh wow, I never knew. There's a secret room here in our flat, but where? Um, I don't know, Blue Man. It's very old binary code you have here. Only a real geek can read this. Okay, I guess they can't read binary. I don't have any other way to show them where it could be. Um, it looks like I have to look around. Let's see what I can find. Eh, eh. Nothing there. Out here. Ah. Time will tell. Hmm. Nope. Here? Aha! There's a code here, but I don't know what it says. I've never noticed that digicode before. How did I miss it? I have no idea what the password could be. Hmm. Let's look around and see. Wait. Two, five, one, one. Nailed it. I'm smart. Oh my god, the head crab. Look at it, so ugly. I've never seen this room. I can't believe he managed to hide it from me all this time. Those blueprints. They must be for the Zerk weapon. Papa was always so secretive with his work. He told me the weapon was working in theory, but it needed a real-life test. He went outside the slums and he never came back. Robot news headlines. Zerk are officially no longer under control. They now eat metal. Deflexor blueprint. Concept. Light-based handgun. Low priority. Visual appearance size, decibel emitted. High priority, test in real condition. Objective, 20 Zerk destroyed per second. Hmm. What's in there? Nothing? Nothing for me, the menace? Observations. Cute sounds, but never friendly. Old bacteria of human time. Eat all kinds of materials. Total vision in the dark. React to the intense light. Hey. Hey, Aurelia, you remember how I mentioned that they might be weak to sunlight? Hmm. Filed anything interesting in here? I knew that was more true than we thought. Wait. Oh, that's okay. I thought there was something hidden under the table. I'm like, what the heck? CMS, it's it's preserved. Hmm. 
What do you mean, don't make you feel the bad? I wasn't talking to you, I was talking to Seamus. Ooh! Seamus! 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 Look at this. Wait, I remember that. That's his tracker. Papa always used that tracker to keep an eye on where I was. Maybe we can reverse it to find where he went. I can't believe my Papa might still be alive. I missed him so much. You need a weapon for the Zerks, right? My Papa definitely took one with him. We just need to repair the tracker so we can find him. Someone in the slum should be able to help. Come with me. I'll open the door for you. What thing about the jellies? I said many things about the jellies. Like that they are... They're scary. I don't know how it came off that way. I was just kind of I was just kind of pointing out that we we theorized that before. The tracker is meant to find a specific robot given the right coordinates. Unfortunately, it's broken. We should find a way to repair it. Well, I guess we can go talk to um to Momo, see what he says. Yeah, no, I was just mentioning that we talked about it before. I'm really struggling to get the connection back. Did you find anything interesting at Seamus's? Yeah, look, I found this tracker. Interesting device, but it looks broken. Maybe someone in the village can help you repair it? Did you ask at the bar? Um, no. I'm at the bar. You're new around here. What can I help you with? What a beautiful object. And rare, too. I know a guy who fixes stuff like this. He's very talented, just a little... Well, you'll see. His name's Elliot. His office is just left of here, near Grandma's shop. There are signs all over his door. Elliot. Elliot programming, I think, was what it said. Is it this one? Or... Come on. Okay, so it's this way. This must be Grandma Clothing. Hello, Grandma! Hello, little one. Do you have any electric cable for me? I'd love to make a poncho for you, but I need that cable. Oh, yeah, I love a poncho. Give it. Thank you, my dear. I'll get to work right away. Poncho! 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 <gasps> there you go, little one. It'll suit you well. How do I open it? How do you use it? Be tall, I want to put it on. That looks really warm. Perfect for a cold robot. Oh, I might need it later. Okay. For someone who's cold. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Grandma made me these clothes. Pretty stylish, no? Ooh, I like your clothes. You want something? Um... No. So this is Grandma's shop. Where's Elliot's place? It's down here?
Mm, I don't see it. Maybe up here. Hello? Oh, that's Seamus. I'm sorry, I, I got turned around, Seamus. Where is this place? Is it this way? No, I didn't need anything. I just need to find out where, where his place is. Ooh, TV! Entertaining. Am I blind? Do you guys see where Elliot's store is? It's, he said it had signs all over it. Ah! You lied. He said you wouldn't do it anymore. I'm so confuzzled. It should be around here. Like, it shouldn't be that far from the sign. What is that scary sound? Maybe this is the door and I have to scratch it? It's okay, you can leave. The Guardian said it was not the Zerks. Okay. Um, interesting. He couldn't resist! I'm so confuzzled. Oh, is it this one? I'm so stupid, it was right here. Hey, thank you for the hydrate, I'll take a sip. <sighs> Knock on the door and wait for us to open. Alright. Knock, knock, here we go. Hey, Ferret, how are you doing? How much catnip do I have? Ugh, not enough for this place. Definitely not enough for the horrors I've seen. But how are you doing? Hydration for everyone? Yeah, everyone take a sip. Foxy said so. Oh, whoops. Wait, come back. He just closed the door on me. Excuse me. I'm gonna walk in. Don't ignore me. Dude. You're here for Elliot. He's just over there. Oh, what's this? She music. Is he up here? Is he sleeping? Nope. Is he drinking? These bottles? Nope. Is he on the piano? Nope, wasn't on the piano. I just got off work and it's my weekend now, so win? I consider that a win for sure. Man, your, your weekend starts on Monday? That's wild. Yes, can I help you? Uh, can you fix this? Oh wow, that's a great tracker. I recognize this model. It's a Toma BR2000. You can track anyone with this little gadget. May I? I know how to repair it, but when I'm trembling like this, I can't use my keyboard. I don't know if I'm sick or something, but I definitely don't feel right. Oh, are you cold? I can't work when I'm shivering like this. I think I need a blanket to be able to fix your tracker. Well, luckily for you, I have a poncho. 
Oh, where did you find this? It's amazing. Wow, I'm so good at this game, guys. Let me try it on. Look, no tremors. I'm able to work again. Thanks. Now I can definitely fix your tracker. Let me take a look. Just gotta give it an update and... Oh, one more thing. Voila. There you go, little one. Good luck finding who you are looking for. Thank you. You're very helpful. Can I open this? No? Okay. Oh, what's up here? Oh. No, come on. I just had the A come up. There you go. Okay, that was being really finicky. I fixed it. Did you manage to fix the tracker? Yeah, third time's the charm, or like try number a billion. I was like trying to press A like that whole time. <laughs> you did it? You fixed it? Well done. Give it here. We got a ping. Is Papa really alive? I can't believe it. Let's follow the tracker. Maybe we'll find where my Papa went. Alright. streets and the next day the zergs had consumed it completely. That's crazy, right? They can eat everything. All the weird stuff always happens to you, mate. I don't dare to leave our village. It's too dangerous. Besides, the guardian is the only one who can open this door. This must be it. He really left the slums. It's dangerous out there, but I must be sure. I need to know. Let's do this. I haven't eaten the door. Yes, Aurelia? Really? 
Look at all these Zerg eggs. They'll eat us. I can't do this. I'm not as fast as you. The Zergs will get me for sure. Hello. Here, take this badge. My papa will recognize it. He'll know that you're a friend. Oh, okay. I'll open a door for you. Coward. <laughs> Fine, the little kitty cat will do everything. But how do I even know where he is? Dead end. Oh, that's reassuring. Oop. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Not good. Not good. Time for another run. <laughs> get away from me! Get away! Get away! Up! Oh! Wait! 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 wait. Away with you! Away with you! Away with you! Uh. Away! Oh! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oof! Oof! Oof it! Oof it! Oof it! Get away, get away! Ah! Up! Upsy daisy! Upsy daisy! Bye! 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 Oh! Okay! Uh... Ah. Oh! Okay! I went the wrong way! I went the bad way! I went the bad way! Up! Up! Ah. Whew! Okay, they can't get me up here. Um... There. You're home, Mew. We love home, Mew. Ugh. Okay. Oh! Oh, I'm driving a car now! Oh god! Oh god! Hey, I'm supposed to land on my feet. <laughs> oh, my backpack. Are you okay? That was a huge fall. Doc should be nearby. We must be close. I hope he's a real doctor. Ow, my leg. I'm meowing in protest. Oh yeah, licking my leg is the solution. I can heal myself just by licking myself. Kitty, do you know what? how fast you're going? I'm gonna need to see some license and registration. Uh, here's my, my license. It says I'm a cat and I can do whatever I want. It's fast and furious too. Fast and furriest. Okay. There's a cable here. Must be providing power to something. I don't have anything to put there. Hmm, it's an electrical generator, but it seems to require some other part to function. Like a battery? Needs battery? I can look for a battery. Let's look for a battery. Hmm. Using my video game logic, I'm gonna follow the cable and see where it goes. It's like a Game Boy. I don't like this area. It's very red, which tells me it's bad.
Oh wait, this just takes me back around. I must have missed something. Let me go look. There must be something up here I can take. Hmm, there's something I can get up to? Mina like trisophobia flesh material. Oh, here we go. Yeah, they should really put a warning on this game, huh? Ugh. Disgusting. Oh, hello. Is that Doc? Ah! Hello. Whoa. Wait, you're not a Zerk. Who are you? That's my badge you're wearing. How did you find it? Did my son send you? Oh, Seamus, you clever boy. Sometimes knowing video game logic is the way to go. Although we might call it metagaming. I don't care. I've been alone here for ages. I came here to test my deflexor, but it didn't go as planned. I wish I could go back home. I miss my son so dearly. You can have a look around the house if you want, but I have no idea how to escape this place. That's reassuring. He's like, yeah, do what you want. I can't get out. Nobody can. Hey, be careful with that defluxer. At full charge, you're gonna explode zerks like confetti. This baby needs 1.21 gigawatts to work, and the only thing around here with that kind of juice is the generator outside the house. The problem is that it won't start. I think a fuse blew. And with all the zerks around, it's too dangerous for me to go out and fix it. I'm not fast enough, but you just might be. If you can reach the generator and replace the fuse, I should be able to get the defluxer charged. Come on, follow me. I'll show you what to do. Alright. Wait, hold on. Alright, I'm good now. <laughs> Wait, where'd he go? I lost him. Where'd he go? Upstairs? Here, take this fuse. It's brand new. Turning on the generator will be loud, so expect some zerks. Once you fix the generator, I should be able to charge and kickstart the defluxer. You just need to follow this cable, charge, change the fuse, and then meet me back here. Best of luck. Yeah, I got this for sure. <laughs> I definitely got this. Alright, so putting the fuse in is the easy part. We're going to take a quick break because we're at the 50 minute mark from my last one um, before I put this in and face the consequences of my actions. So be right back guys, get a drink, get a stretchy, and be ready to face all the head crabs in just a few minutes. Exciting. <laughs> See you soon.